Hello everyone, Saturn here with the Vicky3 Quickie. If you like the name for the series, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to YouTuba. Thank you so much for the name. If you guys like it, put it down in the comments below. If you don't, let me know, uh, then we'll drop it. Uh, we're going to talk about citizenship today. Let's get into it. Taking a look at citizenship, the first one is the ethno state. You can see we get plus 200 authority. The next is a minus 20% radicals from standard of living decreases in accepted cultures. So let's break this down a little bit. Let's take a look at my radical problem that I have here. And if I hover over it, you can see the first issue is this decrease in standard of living. We have 38,000 radicals due to it. Uh, so this would be pretty good, but... We also need to look at decreases in accepted cultures. If you swing over to your cultures tab, you can see here all your cultures and the ones with the stars here are the accepted, the ones with the little boot. And I think it's stepping on a profile, the person, I'm not really sure. Uh, they are discriminated. You could also hover over here and you can see um, that this culture is discriminated. So like this second biggest group, so 500,000 people, they're all discriminated and causing radicals. So this ethno state is not going to really help us in that regard, right? Because it's only for accepted culture so keep that in mind now let's take a look at national supremacy we have plus 150 authority so we lose 50 authority we also lose five percent uh, for the radicals and the loyalists but your accepted cultures change a little bit here so here uh, you can see the heritage culture trait with any primary culture in their country and shares but it has to be both and shares a cultural trait which is not a heritage cultural trait with any primary so it's still very restrictive let's just put it that way uh, finding another culture that uh, fits this is going to be pretty rare. Um, so really national supremacy isn't that big of a deal. And if you look, the interest groups here, uh, devout and petite bourgeoisie, they're the same here. Uh, so these two are, are, are very similar. So I would almost, in my opinion, skip this one. Racial segregation is right in the middle. And for good reason, it's plus 100 authority. So it's not, uh, you know, the 200 that you're getting up here. And you're also about half. So your radicals and loyalists, you can see here, the standard of living uh, decreases. Again, is minus 10% plus 10%. However, you are opening up your acceptance. So it shares a heritage cultural trait. This isn't that bad. It specifies a general region of the world where the culture originated. So as long as you share that with the primary culture, then you're accepted. Uh, so this is this happens a lot early game because usually the states that you're taking are the ones near you. So this isn't, uh, you know, like I said, not bad. This is a pretty good early place to be at. Cultural exclusion is another one I would probably skip very similar to national supremacy. It's okay. Uh, you get 50 authority. You have a minus 5 and plus 5% for the standard of living decreases and increases. That's very small. Um, so really, you're not going to see much of an impact there. And you do have a little bit more acceptance where you share a cultural trait, any cultural trait with any of the primary cultures in their country. So that's pretty good. Uh, but again, uh, it may lower some of your... Uh, radicalism by a little bit or your radicals but it's not going to make that much of a difference the last one and is super strong is multiculturalism you need a tech to unlock it and also ban slavery and you need an interest group so there's a lot of ands that you need to do you need the interest group intelligentsia to be happy uh and let you endorse this good old multiculturalism but once you get it it is so strong what it does and the reason why it's so strong is that it allows you to accept every culture so if you go under your cultures tab, everything here is accepted, meaning less radicals by a lot, which also means less turmoil, which is amazing. And it just makes things a lot easier. This number, like I said, will go down. However, the discrimination also includes religious discrimination. So it may not go completely down. And we'll talk about that in the next video, but it will for everything related to culture. So that's why pretty much every game, I think uh, I would head towards, if you can, uh, definitely get to multiculturalism is just super strong i would go ethno state uh if you don't care about that and you're not going to take over any other countries or you really just <laughs> don't care and you want a lot of radicals then this is fine um racial segregation i think would be my next step and then multiculturalism national supremacy and cultural exclusion just feel like a waste to me one other thing to note is we do completely lose the uh, minus uh, radicals and the plus loyalists, which does hurt because racial segregation is uh, 10%, right? So if we look up here really quick, we have a pretty big number here. You see 38,000, right? So 10% of that is 3,800 people would swing uh, potentially over to loyalists as well as, you know, reducing the radicals. So that is pretty big, but you can make up that difference with other laws. So I think multiculturalism, getting everyone accepted in lowering turmoil is just the way to go if you like this type of information hit that like subscribe notification button they're free and as always for the swarm